Today we are doing the ropes course, which is kind of like an obstacle course. I feel like it's a trust activity to get to know each other and our team and learn how to work together. The thing I need to learn today is that I need to trust people as much as they trust me, and that'll make a really good team. I'm excited to get to know all these new people, you know, meet new faces from everywhere, and it, you really have a lot in common with people all around, so it's a good thing to know. I'm most excited about the team bonding. I think our group's really nice, and I'd like to get to know them better. I'm really excited to just start working with people and do more teamwork stuff, meet new people. I've met a lot of people here so far, but there's so many more to meet. Today, I think we'll learn about uh, teamwork, and that teamwork can be applied anywhere, whether it's uh, in a corporation or a business or even just like a friendship. Definitely how to work with a big group without getting frustrated or flustered. Just really connecting with other people and being able to work nicely with others. Hi, um, I'm Ekaterini Vlamis and I'm a facilitator. I own Edgewood Consulting and Services. Today we're working on teamwork and basically uh, it's to focus on being a part of a team, what helps a team work and what hinders a team. This is called the ring thing um, or King's Finger. It's got a couple of names, but basically their task is to raise the tire without touching it from the four ropes that exist at pulleys on the trees and to com together communicate in a way that allows that tire to lift without touching the pole that's in the middle. Uh, it looks really simple, but it's actually very difficult. It really helps them to be able to see that being a part of a team sometimes requires that you step out and lead, and at other times that you step back and be a follower, and both are really important. Um, it's also important to see that your ideas are important and valuable. And we've already talked a little bit about different personality types and how sometimes quiet people have really great ideas. So I've encouraged those people to speak up and stretch themselves out of their comfort zone. And these activities give them opportunity to do that in a safe place. And then of course translate that in back to school or the workplace in the future.